What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to colorize black and white images using machine learning in python so let us get right into it all right guys so before we get started with the actual coding i want to show you what we're going to end up with today and for this i have prepared two preview scripts we're going to run the first one uh, our final script will take a black and white image like the line here on the left and turn it using a neural network into a colorized version of the image so the only thing that the neural network ever sees is this here on the left, this black and white image. It has no additional information about the color uh, or in any way that this is a lion or anything like that. It only sees those black and white pixels here, those grayscale pixels. Um, and then we feed that image into the neural network and it produces this colorized output. Now, sometimes it's going to look quite good like here. Sometimes it's not gonna look as good as uh, in this particular example. So it won't work for all the images perfectly, but uh, for most of the images, you're going to get a pretty good uh, result. So let me show you the second preview here. This is a flower as far as I remember. Um, and as you can see here, this is the black and white image and this is the result also pretty good. Um, so this is what we're going to build in today's video. All right, so let's get into the coding. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to install and import two libraries. And then we're going to take a look at a couple of important links. So the first thing is we open up CMD and we say pip install numpy if you don't already have it. And the second library is opencv Python. Opencv Python. This is open computer vision slash, uh, not slash, dash Python. Uh, those are the two libraries that we're going to need. And we import them by saying import numpy snp and import cv2 so you don't import opencv python you import cv2 all right so besides that we're going to need a couple of links here two of them are mandatory for the files that we're going to use and the second one is um or, or the third one actually is uh just where i got the inspiration for this video from so basically giving credit to a repository by OpenCV, which is the library that we're using here. Um, and the first thing, uh, I hope I will include all of them in the description. So if I forget to include them in the description, let me know in the comment section down below and I will do this as fast as possible. Uh, but if I didn't forget it, you should find those links in the description down below as well, because those are the links that lead you to the repositories uh, or to the repository that has the files that we need for this video. Uh, the first link is uh, where the models are located because we're not going to train the models ourselves. We're not going to build a neural network and train it ourselves. Uh, first of all, we don't have the data set. Uh, second of all, it's a little bit more complicated and uh, there's a lot of computational power needed. So we're going to use a pre-trained model by Rich Zhang. Uh, and this model can be found at uh, github.com slash Rich Zhang colorization tree cafe. Um, colorization slash models and what we need in particular here is the file colorization deploy v2 dot proto text and colorization release v2 cafe model so those two files that i have here in the models directory uh, you get them at this link and you need to download them for this video and the second file that you or actually the third file that you need to download uh, is in the second link here which is a points file a kernel file uh, this is located at github.com slash rich zang colorization tree cafe colorization then resources and then this pts in hull.npy file so these three files are what we need we need to download this already and we're going to use this in our code uh, and the third link that i want to specify here is the inspiration for today's video so this is the code from opencv GitHub.com, OpenCV, OpenCV, Blob, Master, Samples, DNN, Colorization.py. So this is basically what I used to make this video because I didn't come up with all the code myself. I just want to give credit here to OpenCV. I just used this sample tutorial. And in this video, I changed a little bit. So it's not the exact same code. Uh, but uh, I'm going to explain colorization in Python using uh, the code that is inspired by this link. All right, so let us get started with the actual code now. Uh, we're going to start by defining all the paths. So we have these files now. We have this models directory here with the proto.txt, with the model itself, and with the uh, points file. And we also have some images here, flower.jpg and lion.jpg. Uh, 
Uh, you can take any black and white images that you want to try this on. And we're now going to specify the path. So the first path is going to be proto txt path. This is going to be model uh, models slash colorization deploy v2 proto txt. Then we're going to have the model path, which is going to be models colorization release v2 cafe model. Then we're going to say kernel path is going to be models slash PTS and hull MPY. Um, and finally, the image path, we're just going to say flower or actually let's start with the lion lion dot jpeg. Alright, so those are just the paths and we're now going to use those paths in order to uh, we're going to pass them to the individual object so that for the model and for the proto txt file and so on, uh, the neural network is going to know where to take the model from. Uh, and this is the next step, actually. So we're going to say the net, which is the neural network, is going to be cv2.dnn uh, read net from cafe. So we're going to use this function to just load the pre trained model from. Uh, from the files from the cafe model and from the proto txt file. The first thing that we pass here is the proto txt path. And the second one is the model path. So now we basically have this neural network. Um, this is the, the, the final neural network, we don't need to do anything with it, we don't need to train it, it is already trained, we just need to use it properly. Um, and we also need to load the points file. Now as a general rule for this video, I want to mention that I'm not going to explain everything partly because it would overcomplicate the video and partly I'm honest because I don't understand every single detail of what is happening exactly behind the uh, behind the scenes. I just know that the points are basically cluster center points, uh, also called kernels, and they're useful for the model, or they're needed for the model there. Uh, this is a NumPy object. So we need to say NP dot load, and we're going to load the uh, kernel path here. So as I said, as a general rule of thumb, this video will be more about how to do it and not explaining every single parameter and every single um, action that we take here. So next up, now we have the net and we have the kernel uh, and we have the cluster center points, we're now going to uh, reshape them to be a, a convolutional kernel with a size one by one. So uh, this is something that we need in convolu uh, convolutional neural networks. Again, something that I'm not going to go too much into here. Uh, we're just going to type the code for this section here because it's a little bit uh, complicated. We have a lot of values here. Um, what we're basically going to do is we're just going to say points equals points dot transpose. So basically just flipping the uh, dimensions here and we're going to reshape it to be two three, one, three, one, 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 uh, one is because it is a one by one convolutional kernel. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get specific layer types, so we're going to say net dot get layer. And net dot get layer ID. And here we're going to pass class eight underscore AB. Now, as I said, uh, why do I know that this is what we need to pass those specific, uh, those very specific things is what is inspired by this tutorial here, I got it from OpenCV itself. So uh, the people who wrote that library, they also wrote the sample code. So this is why I know uh, what ID to pass here. This is basically just a B. As a general explanation, we are going to work with a uh, with the LAB color, uh, color scheme, which basically means L for lightness. So L equals lightness, and A and B are going to be color values. So this is a different color scheme than RGB. Um, and what we're doing here is we're basically getting the, uh, we're loading the centers for the channel quantization of A and B. This is what this line basically does here. So we're getting this layer. And we're creating a blob object, a blob is basically just I wrote it down here. Uh, I think it was something like big, big, uh, or no binary large object or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure I don't I don't find a note right now. Uh, but this is basically just an object that we need here. 
we created here blobs equals and we, we're going to say that this is equal to points dot s type np float 32. And then we're going to do the same thing again and that get layer get layer ID, but this time with conf 8 convolutional 8313RN. This is another ID. We're going to create blobs equals np full 1313 2.606 and D type equals float 32. So again, I don't want to pretend that I'm such an expert that I understand everything that happens in those three lines. Specifically, those three lines are a little bit confusing. Um, on a very high level, I understand basically what they're doing. We're basically uh, defining and loading these things, but don't ask me in particular what uh, or why we choose those specific values here. Uh, this is basically, we can say this is copied from the OpenCV documentation. Uh, but from now on, the next couple of steps should be uh, understandable again. So we're going to now uh, go ahead and uh, load the black and white image. We're going to normalize it and we're going to change the, the color scheme from BGR, which is basically RGB, but reverse. So first blue, then green, then red. We're going to change this to LAB because this is what this model is working with. So we're going to say black and white image path or actually black and white image. We don't need a path is going to be cv2.imread image path. Um, and then we're going to normalize it. So normalizing basically means we have the values from zero to 255 and we're scaling them, them down so that they fit between zero and one. So normalized would be just um, black and white image as type load 32 and we're going to divide that by 255 like that because the maximum value for RGB for any color is 255 it goes from 0 to 255 so if we divide everything by 255 we're inevitably going to end up with something between 0 and 1 um, and now we just need to convert to the color scheme so we're going to say uh, LAB is going to be cv2.convert color, convert color. We're going to take the normalized image and we're going to say cv2bgr2lab. Um, actually, we need to say color underscore bgr2lab. Now, why BGR? Why not RGB? This is just because when you use the imread function from OpenCV, what you load is an image in the BGR color scheme. This is just what uh, OpenCV does. So even if you would want to use RGB, you would have to do BGR to RGB. In this case, we have BGR, we want to have LAB. So this is the conversion that we need. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to resize that image, no matter how large it is, no matter uh, what the dimensions are, the model is trained to work with the following dimensions to uh, where, where is it? 224 times 224 pixels. This is, uh, those are the dimensions that the model is trained on. So if we want to colorize images, we need to do it uh, with those dimensions. This is how we need to do it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to resize it. We're going to see the resized image is cv2.resize. We're going to take the lab image that we already have and we're going to resize it to two, uh, 224, 224. There you go. And then we're going to split the channels. So we're going to say L, which is the lightness, is going to be cv2.split on the resized image. And we're going to take the index zero here uh, because we want to have the L. And then we're just going to say L minus equals 50. This is just subtracting the mean value. Uh, you can play around with this value if you want to. Maybe you're going to get better or worse results if you change that number a little bit. And now what we need to do is we just need to fit that thing uh, or to feed that thing into the neural network, forward it, and then we're going to get AB. Because remember, we have LAB, L being the lightness. We already have the lightness value because um, obviously, even though it's black and white and grayscale, we still have lightness levels, but we don't have color. So we're going to feed in the lightness values and based on those we're going to get the colors a b 
So we're going to say net dot set input net set input is going to be cv2 dot dnn dot blob from image. So we're going to create a blob from image and the image is going to be just L, just those values here. And the result is going to be a B. So we're going to say a B is going to be net dot feed forward, or actually it's just forward the function uh, net dot forward. And we're going to get zero and everything else we're going to transpose this with one two zero. And then we get the color channels. And what we're going to do now is we're going to say a B equals CV two dot resize. And we're going to resize it back to the original uh, to the original size. So we're going to say black and white image dot shape one and black and white image dot shape zero. So basically, we're we're resizing it to a smaller size so that we have the input dimensions of the neural network, we get the results, we get the color values, and then we uh, resize it again back to the original size. Um, yeah, and that's basically what we do here, then we can say L equals CV two dot split LAB zero again. So that we basically get the same lightness levels back. And now we're just going to say colorized equals NP dot concatenate NP dot concatenate, we're going to concatenate the lightness that we have already that we had already with the predicted with the uh, resulting a B value. So we're combining the lightness with the colors. And for this, we're going to say NP concatenate uh, L colon colon and then NP dot new axis with a B and the axis is going to be two. So we're combining them into a full image. And all we need to do now is we need to convert it back from LAB to BGR so that we can display it. So colorized equals CV two dot convert color. And here we pass the colorized image and CV two dot color LAB to BGR. And now we scale it back because remember, we normalized it up here by dividing by 255. So now we're going to multiply again. So colorized equals 255 times colorized as type u int eight. Um, and that's basically it, we're done with everything, we now only need to display it. So CV two dot im show. And first of all, we're going to show the black and white image. So we're going to say black and white image is going to be black and white image. And CV two im show uh, not normalized, but colorized is going to be colorized. Then CV two dot weight key equals zero or not equals zero, we pass zero, and then CV two destroy all windows. There you go. So I hope I didn't make any mistakes here. Let's see if this works. Uh, we have a mistake here. We let me just compare to the code that I have here prepared. We have net, which is this one, right? Um, net dot get layer get layer ID. Oh, this is an H not an R, not an N. So R H. Was this the only mistake? No, we have another one. Resize a B. Resize a B B w image shape. What is the problem there? Oh, of course, we need to pass this as a tuple. Dimensions are most of the time passed as tuples. But now it should work. There you go. So we can see that it works. Uh, we can now also change this to flower.jpg. 
And as I said, you can just go to Google, you can go to any image platform that you want, you can take some black and white images and see if it works. Sometimes it doesn't work too well. Um, I don't know, to be honest, uh, what what the important factors are. But for this picture, and for the previous picture, it works quite well. Sometimes when I take uh, a picture of a person, it doesn't really colorize it too well, it seems like uh, because if you if you don't know necessarily that this is the result of a neural network, you could think that this is an actual image of a flower uh, and same for the lion. But sometimes um, if the image is not, I would say, compatible with a model, sometimes it looks really fake. This one, if you if you tell me that this is an actual image of a line, maybe with a couple of filters, I will believe it. I will not necessarily think that this is just black and white and now colorized. Um, but yeah, this is how you colorize images in Python, black and white images in Python using a neural network pre-trained uh, pre model. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.